guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to show you how to get fuller lips this has been again another highly requested video um, a lot of you well everybody thinks that I have lip fillers or lip injections or something some job done to my lip um, that's why my lip looks the way it looks but no I do not have any lip fillers lip injections anything of that sort this is my natural lip this is just the way it is my dad has really nice lips um, and I think that's why I got it from him but I'm so thankful and when people say that I'm not offended believe me like when they say I got lip injections and stuff I am like yay because I don't and uh, trust me I'm not against lip injections or lip fillers or anything like you can do whatever you want to do with your body or face um, as long as it's for your happiness and not for the wrong uh, reasons you know not to impress anybody but just to make you happy um, so yeah I'm all for that but I don't know I don't think I need it and I don't think I ever will do it um, so really quickly I'm just gonna give you a few tips on how you can achieve fuller lips and how I do my lips so just a little bit of um, you know lip lining and just basic techniques on how you can get fuller lips so without further ado let's begin now there are many ways that you can get your lips to look bigger number one is lip fillers lip injections like you all know um, number two is lip plumping lip glosses you know that you get within the lip glosses like mac has that i know and i think a lot of other brands have like an automatic lip plumper so they have like peppermint or something in which just gets your lip to look fuller um, so that's an option then we have lip scrubs you obviously scrub your lip before you go in with your lipstick then there are products in the market like shot glasses where you sort of suck your lips in and then it becomes a little fuller you know what I mean it was like an Instagram craze at one point last year uh, but that can damage your tissues around your lips if you don't do it the right way and it can lead to a lot of bruising around your lips and it's just a messy job so I highly suggest not doing that I am I hate that I'm totally against that because it can do a lot of damage if you don't do it the right way and it's very easy to go wrong so um, I do this other trick it's not much like I literally don't do anything I go in with my lip liner and lipstick directly but I'm just showing you another way you can get it so this is Vaseline the regular Vaseline that you get I have tons of these so what I do is I I put this before my makeup so it sort of hydrates my lip before I go in with a matte lipstick and then you let it be you finish your entire face of makeup and then you take a tissue and just wipe it off so it just brings back hydration by putting Vaseline and it just brings back sort of the blood circulation to your lips so it gets really nice and plump so just go back and forth back and forth you can already see my lip looking like you know plump and it's a little it brought the blood back to my lips so so you can also like anything that's gonna get the blood back into your lips you know that's just an easier way to like get your lips to look plump you can see it automatically becomes red take your beauty blender go over it once so that it's just blurred out and clean okay so that's uh, the first step you can do I don't do anything um, so moving on to my next tip so my next tip is lining your lips using a lip liner it's so important to line your lips like you cannot get fuller lips if you don't line your lips that's pretty simple so just pick any nude lip liner you have I have three over here this is pack um, this is in the shade mauve this is one of my favorite nudes then I have Mac in sore this is another lip liner you can use and then it is the Huda Beauty in trendsetter so these are like three good nude lip liners uh, so I'm gonna use Soar today simply because the other ones are too nude so you won't be able to see what I'm doing to my lips so Soar is a pretty good lip liner for that um, so yeah like I said I stress on lining your lips because that is one technique that's gonna help your lipstick first last longer and secondly it's gonna keep it within your lips your lipstick is not gonna bleed out and it's just going to help you know achieve your um, you know the shape of your lips so definitely I recommend lining your lips there's no way you can do it without it sorry for the background noise it's really hot here so I put the air conditioner on but I'm just going to show you how to line your lips and how I line my lips and that's why it looks fuller so we have two lip lines right um, now if you go to see a lot of people just do this like 
right but that's not your lip line like that's not actually what you want to line now you can see a sort of white cast here like you know there's another lip line if you look closely um, on your own lips as well just take the mirror and look closely you can see uh, and I'm just going to show you how to line that part of your lip look at the difference it is so drastic this is really flat and this is giving me that automatic pout so that's where you're gonna line your lips and that's how I do it all the time that's why you think I've got lip fillers so I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side and you're just gonna see the entire effect Now when you're going lower, you want to go again slightly lower than your natural lip line. Don't make it look unnatural because you know it's going to be visible. So now I'm going to fill it in. So what this does is again it provides a base for your lipstick so it helps in longevity. It stays on for a longer time uh, and also it you know it just gives you like a base like a color. This just gives you like you know in case your lipstick comes off you know you have another layer down below most of you ask me that when we go in with liquid lipsticks um, it sort of dries out and it doesn't stay a very long time so how do I make it last obviously it does not stay a long time even for me um, I have to keep reapplying you know and especially um, it's very important to exfoliate your lips because a lot of girls have dry lips and it's very unflattering like when you put liquid lipsticks on it's going to emphasize all of that dry skin and it's just not a very flattering look so definitely make sure you're getting rid of all the dry skin and everything just for a smoother application of your lipstick and um, yeah so definitely you have to reapply your lipstick you know if you're going to use a liquid lipstick it is going to get crusty and dry it's a liquid lipstick uh, so going in with a lip balm helps uh, but yeah if you feel like it's drying out a little bit you can get rid of it and put another layer again so there's no um, way of keeping your lipstick to last a long time it's just there's no other way so reapplying is your only option now out of cream lipsticks lip glosses and creamy mattes liquid lipsticks last a long time so that's um that's what you can go for so i'm just going to um do my regular lipstick routine and show you my nude lips is everyone everyone's crazy about my nude lips they're like what are you wearing on your lips every time so i'm just going to show you i love this trend setter by huda beauty it is the perfect nude you can find uh, so what i do is i go in with one coat of trend setter Now make sure you're staying within your lip line. Now as you put your liquid lipstick, take your ring finger and push the product in. Now once you've done that, you can already see my lip looks fuller. It's all about lining your lips guys. Then I go in with the second nude liquid lipstick. This is um, a shade or two lighter than what I'm wearing already. It's the same with your face. You know you're contouring you're putting the darker shades here and you're putting the lighter shades here so i'm gonna put the lighter shade in the center uh, this is airplane mode by colourpop this is my favorite nude uh, i also go in with the glow by kylie cosmetics beautiful nude but this is what i've been using lately so that's what i'm showing you any light nude shade just pop it on in the center that's it again take your ring finger and push the product in So this is what I typically wear. This is what I wear every day and you guys always want to know. Uh, I'm going to leave the link to the Colourpop website and Sephora where you get Huda Beauty. I suggest you not buying first copies from anywhere here. Um, so yeah, I don't know if they ship to India. People say they do but I just, you know, order it to the US. But this is how you can do it. Buy any brand. Chambord has a lot of nudes and stuff. But now for an added effect, for it to look more fuller, I'm taking this Fuchsia Pink Lipstick by Inglot, the one I used in my earlier video. And I'm just going to put it in the center. So any pink or orange lipstick you have, like a brighter one, you're going to put it in the inner part of your lips. Right? 
just like that this is just an added step you don't have to do this but you know if you want fuller lips patting it with the finger is something you always have to do now you can go back and fix whatever you think needs fixing I always go back with the lip liner so it's just more defined. So there you have it. This is my lip routine. This is what I do on an everyday basis. I love nude lipsticks. I tend to stick um to nudes and stay away from reds and all except for my videos. I love to experiment. But um yeah, this is what I do on an everyday basis and I know you guys wanted to know. So again, a few tips. Um you know, definitely you can sort of plump your lips like I did in the beginning. Lining your lips is so important. Um and obviously filling it in and going in with two lipsticks at least because you guys wanted to know and this is my trick. I go in with two liquid lipsticks. It can get a little drying, but um put a lip balm underneath and you're good to go. But this automatically gives you a pop. Look. This is what I do. So I know I don't have lip injections or anything. It's just the way you use your products. Um so definitely remember the line of your lips go slightly above and not all the way above, which is going to give you a full up out. So if you guys ever recreate this and try this at home, please tag me so I want to see the difference between your lips. Um so yeah, this is it. So really quickly I'm going to give you a few drugstore nude lipsticks that I really love. So my first favorite is Top Thrill by Nykaa. This is really beautiful. Um I love this lipstick. It's a creamy matte. It does not dry matte at all. Like it's not that like liquid lipstick matte, but it's like a comfortable matte lipstick to wear. My other favorite drugstore lipsticks are the Miss Claire. I told you this will always have a soft spot for me and Miss Claire is you can get the exact same lip like that I'm wearing right now with these colors right here. This is the 09. There is the 04, 02 and 59. So again I will leave the link to all of this below or leave the number so you can go and find out. Um I got this from an Instagram handle that I will leave down below as well but you can get this in any beauty store literally. Go to any um beauty store and ask for Miss Claire lipsticks you know or Amazon will charge you a little more but um just google it and I'm sure you'll find it guys. So these are my favorite lip creams now these dry matte they really do dry matte and give this effect. If you push the product in and sort of pat it down and you know it really looks matte and it's so comfortable to wear that's what I love about Miss Claire. Uh so these are perfect. This is exactly your nudes that you would need. Um and obviously the high end is uh, Clo Money by uh Kylie Cosmetics, Airplane Mode and Huda Beauty uh trend setter. So these are my favorite nude lipsticks of all time and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video uh if it helped you please let me know in the comment section down below try it out let me know what you think I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video bye babies